Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 5th April 2020. I am Sagar Nandi. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. Now I have retired. I am living in Thailand, swing trading stocks using the Q systems and techniques that I developed. You may watch this and other videos related to trading on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably and contact me using the email ID tradingprofitably at gmail.com or info at sagarnandi.com. I regularly share live stock analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and my Twitter handle sagarnandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Disclaimer, this demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts and then demonstrate the use of the Q360 degrees technique where you can align the forces from market level, sector industry level, fundamental level and technical level with your trades giving you truly high probability and low risk trades. That was the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis using oil ETF USO. As usual, I am analyzing it with the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity in only a few seconds. In the last market roundup, I showed that both the thrust and jump indicators were at extreme low levels indicated by the dots appearing on those indicators in the weekly chart. When both thrust and jump hit extreme low levels then a reversal is likely. That is what happened this week. Oil went up strongly. In the weekly chart it went up with extreme bullish pressure and also created bullish pressure U-turn. Earlier it was at price extreme low, now it went up with a reversal candle. The weekly is having backdrop candle color yellow that is neutral and the shape is bullish. In the daily chart, price displayed a bullish headwind possible reversal signal several days ago. After that, price drifted lower, hit the watermark support and then went up from there. Both on Thursday and Friday, it displayed extreme bullish pressure. Friday's traffic light candle color is bullish. There is a memory resistance line, the automatically drawn smart trend line near Friday's closing price. Therefore, Q traders would not like to buy US oil right now. If US oil can break out of the memory resistance and then pulls back and goes up again, that will give the first go with flow trend following long trade opportunity after this prolonged downtrend.
called ETF GLD in the last market roundup when gold was at this point I mentioned that if it could go above this memory resistance line in the daily chart you could look for a buying opportunity so far it has not been able to close above the memory resistance line however it has gone up on both Thursday and Friday Thursday and Friday both days had traffic light candle color bullish that is green on Friday it closed right at the memory resistance line if next week it can go up that will break the daily memory resistance trend line and you may look for a breakout long entry opportunity at that time in the weekly the backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish that will favor taking a long trade in gold if the breakout setup appears in the daily chart this is my youtube channel trading profitably here i regularly submit videos and recording of live webinars this is my last weekly market roundup video and i mentioned that i was continuing my bearish outlook that was one week ago i did that in spite of having all the sectors up that was one week ago all the sectors went up at that time still i maintained my bearish outlook what happened after that this is the one month sector performance of the current week you can see out of the 11 sectors only one sector went up that is consumer staples and all the other 10 sectors came down the outlook that i shared one week ago turned out to be pretty accurate probably contrarian but turned out to be very accurate how could i do that i could do that because i was having a holistic view of the market i was not deciding my bullish or bearish outlook only based on stocks going up or based on sectors going up on a daily time frame or even a weekly time frame i was combining the weekly charts of the market etfs the daily charts of the market etfs sector strength industry strength everything together that allowed me to once again predict the market outlook accurately one point to note is that when i say my outlook is bullish or bearish what i'm saying is that where are the higher probability trades going to come from if my outlook is bearish then i'm looking for more short trades for swing trading purpose and if my outlook is bullish i am looking for more long trades for swing trading purpose because that is where i think the higher probability trades are going to come from what is my market outlook now let's find out starting with the s p 500 etf spy The weekly backdrop candle color is yellow now. It changed from magenta one week ago. That was bearish. This week's backdrop candle color is neutral. And the weekly candle shape is also indecisive. In the daily chart, after the sharp drop, price recovered somewhat to the value area. That is when I shared my outlook as bearish one week ago from there price dropped somewhat on friday the traffic light candle color is red however the shape is indecisive if you combine the weekly and daily together there is no clarity on spy whether it is 
bullish or bearish for swing trading purpose there is no trade signal therefore we will avoid taking any trade in SPY right now NASDAQ ETF QQQ QQQ bounced up from the weekly as well as daily memory trend line you could look for a buying opportunity at that time either in QQQ or probably even better in one of the constituent stocks that was fundamentally strong and as QQQ bounced up from memory support you could find several tech stocks also bouncing up from memory support that gave optimal low risk buying opportunity in the previous week the backdrop candle color was magenta bearish this week though price dropped little bit the candle color changed to neutral the weekly shape is bearish in the daily after reversing from the memory trend line price recovered and then dipped a little bit there is a memory resistance line nearby if price can break out of the memory resistance next week then you may look for a breakout setup either in QQQ or in a fundamentally strong Nasdaq stock Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA this chart is very similar to SPY the weekly backdrop candle color changed from magenta to yellow therefore it improved slightly though the price in fact closed lower the weekly candle shape is bearish in the daily price recovered dipped a little bit and friday's traffic light candle color is red similar to spy there is no clear signal we may not take any swing trade in dia right now Russell 2000 ETF IWM it used to be the weakest of the four market ETFs and that is continuing shown by the relative performance line tilting down this is the only one of the four market ETFs where the backdrop candle color didn't change to yellow neutral color the backdrop color is remaining bearish magenta and the shape is also bearish in the daily chart like the other ETFs after recovering somewhat it dipped again even if price goes up from here in the daily chart we will not have any trend following go with flow long setup immediately because the weekly backdrop color is still magenta and in the daily if price drops from here gives us a magenta bearish flow candle we may not take a short trade using the go with flow short trade setup because price will be very close to the lower boundary line and it will also be very close to the watermark support level where the bullish headwind had come earlier therefore whether IWM goes up next week or goes down next week we will not have any Q trade setup in this ETF time to make a call on the market outlook and as I mentioned earlier my market outlook tells where I am going to look for the higher probability trades on the long side or on the short side this week in three of the market ETFs SPY, QQQ and DIA though price dropped the backdrop candle color changed from bearish to neutral and in the daily chart there is no long trade setup there is no short trade setup as well IWM is maintaining the bearish backdrop color in the weekly chart however there is again no long or short trade setup when none of the four market ETFs give either long trade setup or short trade setup I am inclined to 
stick with a neutral market outlook meaning I am not sure where the higher probability trades are going to come from you may watch the market next week using the fully real-time queue systems and take trades based on how it plays out next week this is my traders forum sagarnanti.com it is open to the public to view all the categories you may log in with your registered email id if you have not registered you may create an account with a valid email id you will receive a validation email and once you validate your email you may log in using your email id or user id i have created my account so let me log in Now I can see this extra category 360 degree stock analysis. Here I regularly share live stock analysis for swing trading, looking at sector industry strength weakness, fundamental strength weakness, as well as technical strength and weakness. And I'm certain you will find them useful if you are swing trading stocks. I tend to say that whatever be the market condition, using Q systems, you can find high probability, low risk trades. And you can find them using unambiguous setups. What are the setups? The setups are available under this category, Q trade setup and checklist. Let's have a look at them. There are four standard trade setups, box setup for sideways market or for double top double bottom bound setup for exhausting market when price drops a lot and then reverses from robust support headwind setup for reversal trades after a prolonged uptrend or downtrend and go with flow is the trend following trade setup each of these four trade setups are associated with unambiguous checklists for example, if we go to the go with flow trade setup, that is a trend following trade setup, I have provided checklists both for the long setup as well as the short setup. The checklists look at certain daily conditions and weekly conditions. And each of these conditions can be answered in an unambiguous manner making the entire checklist or trade setup also unambiguous as a whole. Let me share an example using live analysis. This stock CNX resources. The ticker symbol is CNX. It is giving a trend following go with flow long trade setup as of Friday's market close. Let's validate that with the checklist for trend following long trade setup. I will apply this column of checklist for the daily chart. What are the conditions? The chart needs to have higher high and higher low candle shape that is Friday's candle shape has to be bullish, hollow or with lower tail. There should not be any upper tail. The flow candle color has to be bullish, that is cyan. And relative performance has to be bullish, that is the relative performance line has to tilt up. Four conditions based on higher high, higher low, candle shape, flow candle color and relative performance. And in the weekly chart, there is only one condition. The backdrop candle color has to be bullish, that is cyan. Only one condition on the weekly chart. Let's apply them on CNX at a glance template. In the daily chart, price is having higher high and higher low. So the first condition is made. 
the candle shape is bullish it is a hollow candle and it doesn't have any upper tail very small upper tail therefore the candle shape is bullish that is meeting the second condition on friday the flow candle color is cyan in q global that is running on metastock here the flow color is also shown as the green ribbon color at the top the third condition is made on the daily chart and the fourth condition was relative performance has to be bullish this is the relative performance line tilting up showing it is bullish that is it is outperforming the market therefore all the four daily checklists are made it is having higher high higher low bullish candle shape flow color is bullish and relative performance is also bullish in the weekly chart there was only one condition that is the backdrop candle color has to be bullish that is cyan and that is indeed true therefore all the checklist conditions for go with flow trend following long trade setup are being met and they are being met in an unambiguous manner whether i am looking at it sitting in thailand or you may be looking at it sitting in america europe australia anywhere in the world you will come to the same conclusion whether there is a go with flow long trade setup or not i looked at cnx using q global here that is running on meta stock you could also use trade station and you would come to the same conclusion if you were running q elite on trade station here again there is higher high higher low bullish candle shape on friday friday's flow color is cyan bullish and relative performance line is going up in the weekly chart the backdrop candle color is bullish cyan so all the conditions are again being met whether you are using q elite on trade station or q global on meta stock you could apply the unambiguous checklists to find out just like in this case if there is a valid trade setup or not how could you identify the trade let me first show you how you could identify the trade using q elite on trade station you could use radar drop the list of stocks that are of your interest and i have placed cnx here you can see you could identify the go with flow setup from radar the gwf that is go with flow setup turned cyan on friday showing that it has a go with flow trend following long trade setup it also gave a breakout trade setup on friday and went up with extreme bullish pressure how much did it go up on friday it was up by 22% you could also find it out from the scan in q elite you could run the long go with flow scan on a list of stocks that has cnx in that and then cnx would appear as a possible go with flow long candidate these are the two ways that you could find cnx go with flow setup on friday on QL. How could you find CNX in Q Global on Metastock? You could find it in two ways. One way is you could run this composite scan Q Finder that looks for all the long signals. I ran it already and I put the data in Q Trade Finder tool. you can see cnx came near the very top the orange cell shows that the signal came on friday and cnx gave a possible trend following go with flow setup on friday 
you could find CNX from Q Global using the trade finder that works along with this composite scan that is Q finder scan looking for all the long signals. Alternatively, you could also run this individual scan that looks for go with flow long trade setup. Then also you would find CNX as a possible trend following long candidate on Friday. I demonstrated how you can look for trade setups starting with technical scans. You may say that is a bottom up approach where you identify trade setups using technical scans first, confirm the trade setup using the at a glance template that works with the unambiguous checklists. And then to complete the 360 degrees analysis, you may look at the stocks fundamentals and industry strength. That is the bottom up approach. There are at least two more ways by which you could identify CNX on Friday. One of them is using the Q inside in Q edge. Q edge is the real time sector industry rotation analysis tool and it also has the inside tab that looks for the best performing stocks or worst performing stocks under various categories. In the inside tab, CNX appeared under multiple categories on Friday. It appeared as one of the best performing stocks. It appeared in the list of the best performing stocks with volume pressure. And if I scroll down, it also appeared right at the very top in the list of best performing stocks that are undervalued. This is a very effective and very fast technique of identifying the best buying and shorting candidates in real time. That is using Q inside that is part of Q edge. Those were two techniques, bottom up approach and using Q inside. What is the third technique? You could carry out a top down analysis. In Q edge, we can start from the sectors. Let's look at the strongest sectors over five days, that is one week. Consumer staples is the best performing sector. You can know that instantly from the color coding. Cyan indicates strength, magenta weakness. Therefore, consumer staples is the strongest sector of this week. We saw that from the sector graph already. However, consumer staples had been strong for a very long time. Therefore, it may not keep the best buying candidates. On the other hand, energy sector was weak for a very long time. It was the worst performing sector and this week it became the second best performing sector. If you look at two day period and one day period, that is Thursday, Friday and Friday, you can see that energy turned to be the best performing sector. Therefore, you may find some undervalued stocks that are going up now in energy sector just as the sector is also recovering. Those may give lucrative buying opportunities. Finding that from this sector scorecard, you may drill down into the energy industries. These are the energy sector industries. Let me sort again by five day score. Integrated oil and gas is the best performing energy industry over five days. However, the strength declined a little bit 
on Friday. One day score declined a little bit from five day score. On the other hand, if you look at oil and gas exploration and production over five days, it is the second best performing industry in energy sector and over two day and one day it more or less maintain the strength. You could find buying opportunities in integrated oil and gas also or you could also look at oil and gas exploration and production. The pace column is showing that oil and gas exploration and production is having acceleration much more than integrated oil and gas. That would be another reason to focus on oil and gas exploration and production industry and not on integrated oil and gas. Let's drill down into the oil and gas exploration and production and look at the stocks that went up most on Friday. Double clicking on any column header sorts by that column and double clicking again will reverse the sort order. The best performing stock in the oil and gas exploration and production industry on Friday is QEP and the second best is CNX. Why would you favor CNX over QEP? That is based on the valuation score. QEP is medium valued, neither overvalued nor undervalued, shown by the yellow color under valuation score, whereas CNX is undervalued. You also saw CNX is undervalued from the inside tab where CNX came as one of the best performing undervalued stocks. Because in Q technique, we are aligning forces from fundamental level, industry level, technical level all together. If you applied that approach, then you would probably favor buying CNX over QEP. QEP went up by 23% plus on Friday and CNX also went up by 22% plus on Friday. Both were equally strong. CNX also has a short squeeze potential. Therefore, using the top-down approach, we looked at the sector first. Energy is one of the best performing sectors. We looked at the energy industries. Oil and gas exploration and production is one of the strongest energy industries. Then we looked at the stocks in the industry and CNX is one of the best performing stock on Friday and it is also undervalued. The last step using the top down approach would be to look at the at a glance chart and you could click the chart icon for that. If you are using Q Global, it will open the chart using your default template. That is my at a glance template. I use that as default and instantly you can apply the checklist conditions as I demonstrated earlier in less than 10 seconds you would come to the conclusion that CNX has a technical trade setup that is a going flow trend following long trade setup. That is the way you could identify CNX using top down approach using Q edge first sector rotation looking at industries further looking at fundamental strength and finally looking at the technical charts. Let me summarize. Last week the market went up but my market outlook was bearish. That proved to be accurate because the market came down. Not much, a little bit but still it came down. This week the market came down however I am changing my market outlook to neutral. Meaning I am not able to decide whether the higher probability trades are going to come on the long side or short side. We may watch the market next week and based on how it is moving, 
we will decide our trades in real time. That is not difficult for queue traders because all the queue systems are fully real time. And as I demonstrated, whatever be the market condition using the 360 degrees technique, you can always find low risk high probability trade setups. I will continue to share such trading ideas using live market and stock analysis on my traders forum sakanandi.com. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.